let's identify this first of all now you know if you traveled from x1 to x2 it means that you walked a distance all right so let's call that distance h so we're basically saying that the distance from this place to from x1 to x2 let's call it h okay good now we know that the slope of this graph we're looking at is y2 m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 but we already know that there is a formula and that formula is what eventually is going to lead us to first principles so we're going to make this formula for the slope look like that formula that is more applicable to differentiation from first principles and that's why that's what we are tending to now coming back to your graph these places i made a notation for f1 for y1 and y2 i'm going to replace it with another notation I didn't really change anything i'm just going to change the appearance all right so whenever we're plotting a graph we're basically plotting a graph with an equation that looks like this f y is equal to f of x that is a function of x and that's basically that is the whole point of equations all right where we have to plot graphs so let us call this one since y is a function of x okay so this is the first function here so it's either I use y1 or I could use f of x, all right? Now, in this particular place, you have x1 here, you have x2 here, and you have the distance between them being um, h. So it means that from here, my x2 is equals x1 plus h, all right? Okay, so correspondingly, it follows that if this is f of x, it means the space here, which is corresponding to this one, becomes f of x plus h as well. So I simply want to use these notations because these notations are applicable to the formula for finding uh, differentiation from first principles. All right. So I'm going to rewrite what I have here right now. I'm going to rewrite it here. OK, so I can choose to rewrite this formula as. Now, what is the value of my y2? What other notation does this my y2 represent? Of, it represents f of x plus h. That is f of x plus h. 